I'm working on a Audi S5 2014. This um, gave me a code about a yeah, hydraulic pump. Uh, fault, but I'll, I'll post the code. Um, it gave me a code and um, so this one it has a it has this is a pump this is a hydraulic pump I removed it you have to remove the tape from there as you see this tape you have to remove it and then uh, you have the relays in here and there is a 40 amp fuse goes in here the fuse because of the water coming in here it um the moisture and everything those goes bad so although it has this this uh, foam to cover it but uh, obviously with the water leak and everything that's not going to be enough so uh it was give me a coat the top is flashing it just says it says when you try to open it it says the top cannot be opened uh, so that's uh, in the code and this one is the code B11A201 that's what the code is and it says uh, exactly this one it says hydraulic pump relay electrical fault this is the cover for the uh, hydraulic pump look at the water on this thing you see I squeezed so much water out of this. Now I'm gonna leave it outside. This is the fuse 40. So I replaced the fuse, cleaned it up. Inside was moisture and messed up. You see the motor? These are all water damage. But if everything is working so far, I dried all of these as much as I could. Um, so um, I'm gonna put it back together. Everything is working. Now I just tested the top. Everything is working now. The light is gone. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna show you guys. You see now. I just tested it. That blinking light is gone, and the top is working perf perfectly fine. I already opened it and closed it. So I have some snow on top of the soft top, so I don't want to damage it. That's why I don't. This is the heat gun, and I'm trying to dry this cover for the motor. It's almost like 70% done. So I'm waiting a little bit more because as you see, there is still water. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry it completely. Then I put it back on. Now all this foam, the cover for the motor is uh, all dried up. I left it overnight to dry it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, disassemble everything back to place and i tested it already last night everything is working uh, but i'm gonna test it again and i'll show you guys quickly uh, um, that everything is working perfectly fine all was was this one this 40 amp fuse uh the module it was giving a module as code too but that was basically this one because as you see the wire one of the wire goes straight to the module so that's why it was saying uh, uh it was grounded so uh, because of the water coming in here, I don't know if so most of these are very popular getting water in there. That's why it, all of these moisture that you see, but everything is working fine. Um, I hope this uh, helped you guys. Thank you for watching. All right, as you see, there is no blinking light. So it's the moment of the truth. I'm trying to open it up right now. So far, so good. All right, perfect. As you see, the whole cycle is done. No light still. That fuse has fixed it though. Close it back. As you see, it's a snow here. So, testing it to make sure everything is good.
Yes, sir. No light. Everything is good to go. Perfect. I hope this helped somebody. Uh, please go ahead and um, subscribe and share for more videos. I'm trying to put as much videos as, as I can. Uh, but this is a good fix. I'm, I'm happy. I'm excited. Thank you for watching.